Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I thought it would be fun to get into some summertime vibes and paint these gorgeous stingrays. So I'm sort of combining two reference photos. I do love the idea of this seafloor background that has all these watery marks. And so to get this look we are going to work wet on wet wetting our background paper and then choosing your favorite sea colors putting in some splotches and leaving some white spaces like i'm doing so i'm just trying to mimic this look a little bit and i thought it would be a very fun backdrop for some stingrays so you just want to cover the whole background with these blue blobs and there's no rhyme or reason i'm just trying to fill in all those spots and leave some white spaces now i did draw my stingrays on my piece of paper before i made the background so i'll still be able to see my pencil sketch for the next layer once you're satisfied with the amount of blue that you have on your paper you're going to let that whole thing dry. Once it's dry, we're going to paint in our cute little stingrays. And I'm working in the same manner to get a soft blended effect. I'm going to wet him first. And I just love watching when you drop in paint into a wet area and how it spreads. So it's a lot of fun to paint this way and it covers all of those wet borders that you made quite nicely. For the stingrays, I'm using a combination of indigo and Prussian blue. And I'm varying my tonal value. Some I'm making lighter than others. And it really is that easy. This is definitely a beginner's level project. It's a super fast 10 minute painting, basically, minus the drying time. You guys can do this, it is so easy. You're just dropping in paint into the wet areas. And it's very satisfying, it's cute, it's fun. Now you see that my stingrays have some white dots on them. So I am cheating, I'm using an acrylic white pen. If you wanna be a traditionalist, you can either use masking fluid to make little white dots before you even start painting, or you can use white watercolor opaque paint. But I opted for this quick and fast method. And that is how easy it is to make this cute little water-inspired painting. So sign your painting. You just made a masterpiece. Congratulations. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.